There are two schools of thought on how to organize your coupons. One is the file folder method, the other, binder. With the file folder, the theory is that when your papers come in or you get your inserts, you file them away in the appropriate folder. Procter & Gamble, Red Plum, Smart Source. You date them on the front and then you pull them as you need them. I thought that was great until I got in the store one day and my sister called me and said, hey, this is on clearance and it's a money maker. It's a $3.99 rebate. Fortunately, I had to come home, pull my coupon, go back to the store. If I would have had a binder with me, I could have ran out to the car, got the coupon, and saved a trip. So now I use my file folders to store my receipts, and I keep an envelope in the back for my expireds. Once a week, I'll go through my coupons, I'll stick them in the back, and when I have enough coupons, I'll seal them up and send them out to a military base overseas. The binder method, I'm currently using a, just a three inch binder. Um, I have a lot of coupons, but really not that many compared to a lot of the extreme couponers. I buy 10 inserts a week. I use four to five for my personal use, and then I donate the equal amount of items to charity. So that's why I have a lot of duplicates. The way I've set mine up is I just used school dividers into the categories like cereal, cleaning, baking, whatever fits your needs. This is all about you. My method might not work for you. Then I use a combination of baseball card holders for items that our family uses. So they stick out more, a little more prominently. And then I use sheet protectors for coupons that I have a lot of, but products that I probably won't use. We are a brand loyal family. So a lot of these coupons, I'll just save unless something comes on a really good sale and then I'll pull them out, use the coupon, and then donate those items to charity. So our biggest category is health and beauty, and you can see how I have that set up. Look at all those health and beauty coupons. So I have my baseball cards in the front for items that we're probably gonna use. And then I have stickers that just tell me at a quick glance, here's our feminine products. I can never say that word. Uh, these are just a bunch of bulks. Then I have makeup, soap and body wash, deodorant, de dental. When I have bulks, a lot of times I just don't cut the coupons until I need them, but they are all together. I have hair color and then vitamins and supplements. When I do have 10 at a time, normally what I try to do is paper clip them together. That way they're easy to find and I don't miss one. So. And then when I make my shopping list, I move all my coupons to the front where I have all of our stores that we shop. I have Albertsons, CVS, Smiths, and those show me the coupons that I wanna use that day for the shopping trip. This also stores all my register rewards that I don't use, so I don't lose them and I can keep track of them. And then here's my coupons that I have paper clipped together. And then my extra care box and my cards just so I have everything with me at all times. Um, just to go a step further, I keep a couple of envelopes in the front so when I'm out at the store, a lot of times the items will be sold out. So rather than digging through my sheet protector at the end and slowing down the checkout, as I'm going through and putting items in my cart, if there's only three items and I have five coupons, I'll put three coupons in the envelope and I'll leave the other two here. So the little extra time it takes in the aisle saves some frustration with people behind you in line and the cashier. So again, I use a combination of baseball cards and sheet protectors for my book. I also keep a section in the back for all my mail-in rebates and restaurant coupons. If you have any questions, contact us on frugalferret.com.